When you look at the Tiber River with the large flood walls put in in the 19th century, it doesn't look that imposing. But in antiquity, there were no massive flood walls, the Tiber River was much more ferocious, and of course, throughout its history, it flooded and put much of Rome, particularly the Campus Martius, under several meters of water. Crossing the Tiber River in antiquity was a big deal. In the Republican times, the earliest history of Rome, you crossed over with a ferry system. And when you built the first bridge, the Pons Sublicius, it was made of wood, so it could be dismantled in time of war. Second century BC is a period of innovation and change, particularly engineering and building, using a lot of concrete and stone. The Romans build the first stone bridge going across the Tiber River, the Pons Aemilius. And this goes right to the temple of Portunus, or the god of the port. The Pons Aemilius, rebuilt in the Augustan period, was used all throughout antiquity, but eventually it's damaged and is falling apart. Of the original five arcades, only three were still standing. Michelangelo was commissioned to rebuild it in its entirety, but the attempt was failed. When the flood walls were built in the 19th century, it was decided to further truncate the remains of the Ponte Rotto, or the broken bridge. So today you have a single arch still standing of the Augustan Bridge. When you look at the Tiber Island today, it's joined still today with two ancient Roman bridges that go back to the Republican period, the Pons Fabricius and the Pons Cestius. When you go for the north, you see the Ponte Sisto. And this is the first bridge that is built in Rome for a thousand years. And where is it built? On the remains of the bridge built by Agrippa in the period of Augustus. Further north, you have the Neronian Bridge that joins to the Vatican. And further north still, you have the Pons Elias, which is rebuilt in the Baroque period, joining to the Mausoleum of Hadrian. Outside the city of Rome, there's one bridge worth mentioning. It's the Pons Milvius, the Milvian Bridge. This is where Constantine defeated Maxentius. Maxentius is defeated and is killed. And Constantine comes in with his army, bringing in a new god, the Christian god that he will legalize. 